What is up everyone? This is Absolute Zero here and welcome to another episode of Super Mario Maker 2. Before I start today's episode with the course I have in mind, I would like to show this very first level that I made. I'm not going to talk about it too long, it is just the first level I ever made, so uh, it's probably not that great to be honest, but if you are interested, please do go check it out and then let me know what you think of it. I surprisingly had a lot of fun making this level actually. I was starting it and then I didn't think I'd get too far and then by the end of it, I had spent my entire afternoon on it. So if you're interested, please give it a play. Please let me know what you think of it. Uh, I will also post my maker ID right there for anyone who wants to follow me and things like that. I will be making more levels. I have others in mind. They're not going to be too hard or anything crazy, but just some small simple levels that I want to make. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. But for now, on to the course I have planned for today. Alright, so this is what I believe to be the very first passive Panga level that Panga has posted on Super Mario Maker 2. And for those of you who don't know, passive Pangas were the type of levels that were supposed to be easier than the pit of Pangas that he would post. But looking at the clear rate of this thing, it's not very high. It's definitely much lower than the ones I'm used to seeing in the first Super Mario Maker. I am hoping to be able to finish this in this video. Uh, hopefully. And if I don't, I'll have to revisit that like I did with the other levels. Um, right, I actually did live stream recently. I did 1-1 uh, but with a twist and uh, spoiler alert. I managed to beat it. That's probably going to be a future video coming out. But anyway, regardless, for now, let's just see if I can beat this one. But the clear rate is really not that much higher. It's barely higher than the others. Oh, well, let's, uh, yeah, I, I did enjoy a lot. The passive pangas. I've talked about this before, <laughs> before, but oh, no, oh, no, I got to trigger those as soon as I can so that I can move forward there. Okay. Get this guy to jump, and that was too early. I have a feeling I should only jump later because it's not because of me that that muncher is jumping, right? So, okay, so I can, I have full control over this. Get those guys to go, jump up, okay, cool, oh no. Oh god, that was close. Oh no! If that's the kind of timing I need for the rest of the stage, I can see why the clear rate is so low. I can definitely see it now. Okay. Because here I have to be really crutch. This jump needs to be perfect. I have so little height for this jump. No! I'm like, what was it? Like, I was maybe just a few pixels off. No! It's gonna be one or the other. Maybe I'm jumping too early. I don't know. I thought I was pretty clutch with that jump. Alright, this is the part. No! I thought I got it! Oh, I cleared the thwomp. I cleared the spike. Snake couldn't catch me. Okay. So, okay. I think what I need to do is I need to really give myself that forward momentum coming back. Otherwise, I am not touching that snake. Zero context. Oh, what? Am I just not tr- I think I'm not triggering the thwomp early enough. Maybe that's my problem here. Is there a way for me to trigger it earlier? Because I get the feeling I need to trigger the thwomp earlier. Wow, I'm... Okay, no. That doesn't feel like... Oh, okay. That's a fireball! My brain was like, there's danger over there, and you should probably pay attention, and I just completely ignored it. Oh, that works. That... Wah! Once again, I've forgotten about the fireball. I was too... obsessed with, like, the timing of the other parts there. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> ah, this is singular spike. Okay. Can I be honest? Not finding it that much easier than the Super Sky so so far. Good, good. No! Of course. 
a little earlier. No! Oh! 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 It was technically right. I just... I didn't realize that there was a thing to bounce off of down there. Well, that was just sad. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Did you have to? Did you have to? This is a passive panga, not a die by every single goddamn fireball that exists in this level panga level. No! Not a tip of that spike! I don't even think technically I touched it. Guys, it's fucking hot. I. I think I need to go change shirts. This shirt, for some reason, is really freaking hot. Uh. 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 No! No! What is the timing on this? I feel like I need to extend it as much as I can, but it killed me. The timing is... Like, that fireball's catching me as I need to bounce on it. And if that's the case, there's not much I can really do about it. Oh, See, like, right there, what am I supposed to do? I think I need to... I don't even know if I have enough... What is happening? I don't... Why is my... Because I feel like I need to let go of my jump a little early, so I hit the thing sooner. But if I do that, this, it doesn't look like the snake is going to come back down on time for me to land on it. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have let go there. Also, I'm changing shirts! It's friggin' hot! It's still friggin' hot in here! Well, I discovered something new. I don't know if it actually helps me. Yep, doesn't feel like it helps me. Uh, I'll try it one more time, see if there's something else I can do to make it so that it works. Because it, it is very valuable if I can get that much more time for me to control my jumps in that section, but... It see oh my god, it seems kind of... Too close in timing for me to take advantage of. Nah, the fucking Kaizo block. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie at this rate. I'm not sure I'm gonna finish this level, but at least not in this video. Like, I will definitely come back to it and try to uh, and try to beat it at some point but I this is this is a lot harder than I was expecting from a passive panga the passive pangas in the previous Mario Maker were far easier than this my brain farted and I didn't go forward I feel like I need to make like a small jump or something because otherwise it's not going to work. Although it did feel like I already did a small jump. And that was just too early. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah, there's... Oh, I needed to jump onto that one right away. Okay. I think we have it. I think we have it. I think we have the timing down. Alright, we can progress. Like that. Oh no! Oh, this is this is a clever configuration. I really Oh man. I'm not gonna lie, this is a type of level design that I wish I had a knack for already. But it doesn't these things don't come just like that. You have to really know the game and know how to make use of them and make them fun. Uh I hope to be able to do something like that in the future. Oh, that was a little too oh my god, that was really close. Um, I have to make this short just so that I can make this. Okay, go here. No, I waited a little too long unless I just walk off. I could try to just walk off there. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to jump or just walk off there. Like, if I have to jump off, I have to jump off a little earlier. If I have to walk off, I have to wait a little longer before I do. It's 
Something's going weird with the sound and I don't like it and I can't tell if it's my recording or if it's something else. I'm gonna try walking off. That works! What? Wait, 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 wait. I... Okay. If I have to assume what I'm supposed to do here, it's definitely... I don't know. Like, if I just walk off here... Oh, yes, yes! That is definitely it! I... What is that? I need to grab that. No! I think I need to grab that shell, jump off of it, and go on the thwomp that has the POWs on it. Wow, okay, okay, we're getting this, we're getting somewhere, we're getting a lot farther than Super Skyzo in the end. At least I think. No! Kaizo Block's always the death of me. So the timing on that isn't as strict as I thought it would be, actually. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I have a feeling I was supposed to- oh! Okay, so I- maybe I should just wait until I hit the wall, maybe? All of this is really clutch, the timing was so- DUH KAIZO BLOCK! Oh! The ones that hurt the most are the ones you Apparently have been accidentally avoiding this whole time, and then you find it for the first time. Ugh! What the hell? Why was that timing so weird now? That fireball was just there in my way the whole time I was about to drop on that thing that I still don't know the name of. When I was looking at the comments to know what the name of that thing was, apparently we are having a confusion over whether it's Goombrat or Goom... What was the other one? I forget, actually. Look at this! What is this close call? Okay, jump down too far. So I actually have to wait as long as I can to guarantee that the Thwomp does land on the snake. But the issue now is will I be able to reach the green one if it's somehow too far up? Hopefully it doesn't get too far up. Okay, this feels much better so far. Okay, wait a little longer, go here, that's right, this works! Oh, that was barely though. So, for this Kaizo block... Oh, Lord, a spike! I thought it was enough, okay. Um, it looks like that Galoomba thing is supposed to land there, so, on the snake. So maybe I shouldn't worry too much about that. I just need to make sure I don't... Get driven into a spike, literally. I think I waited a little- yeah, okay, so the amount of time I'm waiting there actually affects the timing on this part too. Which is interesting to think about now. So far so good, so- oh my god, I almost didn't make that. No, I didn't want to kick it! Oh man! Also, my question is whether to actually land on it, like, to just jump directly in it from the left side, or should I be landing on the snake on the right side first? I don't actually know the answer to that question yet, and I won't know until I try either way. Wow, that was fucking close. Don't know how I survived that. Yeah, it was too late. Uh, that one gets tricky for some reason. Look at this! It's just threatening to kill me if I go land on it. What is this? Why is this happening so much now? For some reason, like, as I refine the timing of everything, I get myself even closer to danger there. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, fix it. FIX IT! Oh, that was close. Okay. Oh, yep. Too fast on that part. Oh, what is this? That means that the blue one was activated too late. 
We need it to activate sooner. No, what, what is this? Why? I don't know why I'm suddenly having a lot of trouble with this part. It's like every millisecond counts when it comes to changing the timing of that thing. And that means it's all dependent on how you're doing every previous section. But for some reason, the combination of everything I'm doing beforehand now is causing it to be even more difficult. It has so drastically changed for some reason. And that one's still super tight for some reason. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I think I need to- I do need to jump onto the snake on the right side first, but... Uh... That timing is more difficult than I thought it would be for jumping in a turtle shell and then landing on the freaking thwomp. Like that... OH NO! That makes me think I actually shouldn't be jumping on the blue snake then. I should just immediately go jump from the left side off of the snake into the shell, get the thwomp to trigger and land on the power block. And as soon as I get to the right side, I have to jump on the Galoomba and... La yeah, jump on the Galoomba, bounce off of him to have enough time to let the snake reach the right side. And then... I guess I'll just show what I mean. It's a lot easier if I can do it, obviously. So here, jump to here, trigger that, land on this. Do I need to jump off the left side of that then? Because it looks like it's going to swing into that. At least that's what the coin indication is telling me. Okay, so like this, jump here. Oh, shit, no. Um. Ah, <laughs> oh, I. Does anyone? Does anyone else see what I see there? That part. That part of the fucking like railway or whatever you want to call it. What is this? Oh, that's the side effect of the pa the power the visual effect of the power block. Wow, I was so weirded out by that shape. Oh, what the fucking ceiling? That means I jumped too early. Uh, that coin indication isn't quite right then, I think. I, I think I jumped off as soon as I hit the coin though, so maybe I just gonna need to wait a little bit longer. Oh my god! Okay. There you go. I'm trying to decide if I even need that Goolumba. Is it just there to troll me? Because it almost seems like if I just maximum jumped off the left side, off the POW block, the snake will have enough time to come out so that I can stand on it. I'm not sure though. I, I really have to let myself try shit there. I just keep dying to the freaking Galoomba all the time here. Yeah, this part's a lot easier now. Okay, now that I figured that out. Um, here... Ugh! No. Clearly, I need to jump on the Galoomba. The problem is, did I have enough time to actually land on it? I don't know. Sorry, enough time to jump on it, because it's kind of high? Kind of. Well, that was close. Okay, at least that guarantees that I'll be able to do this part properly. What? I spoke too soon. Oh no, too late, too late. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I need to work on my consistency of all the previous parts because I am dying way too much and I keep forgetting what I'm supposed to do when I get to the end. Also, I've been told by the description of this level that there is a checkpoint. I haven't even seen the checkpoint yet. Oh, God damn it. I should have just let myself land on that thing earlier. What are you doing? I kind of hold right expecting to, you know, hit the wall, but then 
I just kind of ran myself off the edge. This might be a little clutch here. Okay, that's good. No! Okay, I can't- I tried to wait it out a little so the snake had more time to go to the right side, but... Um... I waited too long and the shell was right under the saw. Or almost into the saw. I really don't feel like I have enough time there. What is happening? I really don't understand. That was really close. Oh my god. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I think I get it. I think. I, ha I have to give it a try. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to jump on the... Blue snake again on the right side, so that it has more time to travel, and then jump off of it to land on the dry bone shell, and then try to get myself in the power block, and then jump on a Galoomba to land on the right side, actually, over that spike. So we'll see how that works out. So like that, like that, like that, like that. Ah, oh, the spike! But that confirms that. That feels so much better. That feels so much better. Oh, I, I'm gonna try it one more time. One more time. I yeah, just just one more time. Okay, jump up. Oh wow, that forward momentum kills me though. It really does. I don't know if there's a way for me to counteract that. But I'll have to give that try on another time. That's all the time I have for today's video. But chances are I'm going to keep this level in mind for like a future live stream or something. So I can try to beat it just like I did with 1-1 uh, but with a twist. Alright, I will preemptively give it a like because it does seem really good. So, And it's been fun. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button just below the video. And don't forget to give this video a share for the world to see. But until that next video. My name is Absolute Zero, and always remember to keep it absolutely cool, everyone.